Yo. How am I even doing this shit right now? Well, welcome everybody. This is a new, a new age, a new era where I'm actually making tutorials. <sighs> Garbage. Okay, so what do we learn today, you may ask? <laughs> Can you teach me how to do trend? Don't worry, don't worry. I got you right here. I just need a good scene that you can see shit. Okay, let's take this one. How about this one, right? Let's take this one from here. Oh, and if you wonder how to do that, you just press the Alt and the left bracket. So you can cut your clip easier. Or you can use the traditional method, which is Control Shift D. I tend to use that sometimes. Okay, so transition. Let's see our clips real quick, please. Right. I don't think we need the sound from the clips though. I don't think you do, do you? Let's cut let's cut out the sound. We don't need that. Now you can't hear nothing. Should we put a song? Should you put a song you may ask? <laughs> well, I don't have any so let me see. Uh, I don't know, let me just do this one, I don't even know. Project or, oh yes, I remember. Anyway, the, the song doesn't matter. I'm just trying to do off something. Let me see. Fine, we're gonna use that, right? Because why not? They just match it with the song. Alright, well, this is uh, gonna be our clips that we're gonna work with today. So, the way you make a transition now depends on what transitions do you you trying to make over there. You're trying to make a scale. You may be trying to make I don't know some some rotations or like some some uh, positions or something. Let's start off with scale, right? Mm, if you just start off, it's better to put the whole clip, like the whole scene that you're using as a whole scale. So not to do only like the last frames or something, to do the whole thing so it looks smoother. So basically the first one, we're gonna leave it at 100%, right? The last one, we're gonna put it like... That should be right. Seven no, I'm just playing. 700 is too much. Let's put it at 300 to 400, right? Now the graph, this is the most important thing. Click this thing over here. This is the magic wand right here. This is everything that you need to know about After Effects in general. This is the graph. It depends on how you put your graph, it's gonna look, your, your shake is gonna look, shake, uh, whatever, whatever we're doing. Okay, so I put it like this. Now. Ah, but we have a scale out, not a scale in. Why don't you take a look at that? I'm stupid. Huh. Huh. Okay, so. <laughs> you can do this. You can put the last keyframe right here. And you can like scale in really hard right here. And then just put it like this, right? Just make it like this and like that. I might just marry my plug. You know, but whatever, just leave it like that. I'm just trying to teach you the graph thing. So, you see how I put this graph right here is really fast, it goes slow and then fast again. This is like the fast thing because when it drops in like that, it's like, like this. This is fast, right? This is slow when it's like the so the more straight the line is the slower the the whatever effect you have is gonna move so basically i have scale right all right let's do the other clip now the other clip is gonna be if this one scales out this one obviously is gonna be really close just like the other one it's gonna scale out to 100 just like that I shouldn't be teaching you all of this. Don't worry, it's gonna get more complicated down the road. Right, so that's that's um, a transition. <laughs> you didn't think about that, did you? Uh, God. Okay, let's... Um, what should I teach you next? 
Let's teach you some rotations, right? Let's get off the scale. 100 again. 100 again. Some some rotations, right? Rotations are nice. You can do rotations. Let's do the same thing, right? Start from the uh, the beginning of the clip, go to the end, and put it at like I don't know. Let's say 50. It's a bit much 50, but whatever. We're gonna we're gonna do whatever. Okay, now on this other clip, let's put the first keyframe at 50. No, I think it's no nah, minus 50, minus 50. Because we're trying to continue the motion, you get me? You get me fam? This is how we do out here, we continue the motion just like that, man. What happened? I, I put this as zero then I didn't. Alright. So zero, right? We're trying to continue the motion, fam. Just like that, right? Alright, so the first graph, how you're gonna do it is if you start off from the beginning of the clip, you're gonna do it really fast right here and just just barely blending in. That's smooth, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let me let me show you how to do this other one. This other one is gonna do fast, too slow, just like that. Right, really smooth. This is all about After Effects. After Effects is just really smooth as a as an app. Because if you were using Sony Vegas, this thing would have move. Forget it. Man, it's really nice because I can see the. Never mind. Okay, so after you did the rotation. Let's add some motion tile, boy, because we don't want all these black lines on the fucking edges of the, of the clip, right? So let's just put that at 280, I like to put my things at. I don't know why 280, don't ask me why 280, I just think that's good for me. So, uh, I'm gonna show you another trick now, because apparently I got that somehow. Let me just copy paste it to this other clip and see if it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So you see how right there is like, it's, it has like a black line. You don't want that. Definitely you don't want that. So how one way you can get rid of this is by going to the clip and scale it up by one. So from 100, we're going to put it to 101 and this one to 101. And now, boom, it's fixed. Thank me later. I just solved you all your life problems right there. I might just marry my plug. She give me dough when I need it. Right? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now, if you want to get <laughs> if you want to get a little fancy with it, I can show you a few tricks. A few small tricks that um visuals the one and only you not. Let me show you something. Um, my favorite blur that I want to use whenever I use slow transitions and slow scenes in general my favorite effect is obviously BCC fast lens blur okay now this this is a little hard on your uh, on your processor right so if you use a lot of this it's gonna be a little slow but if you have a good PC nothing to worry about and if you have a bad PC, just turn this thing to like quarter or something. I don't know. All right. So, um, how you're gonna use this? You're gonna go to the first thing. It's gonna be on 15 when you start. It's gonna look like this. You just put it to zero, right? You go to where you want the blur to take place, and you put it at 30. Let's say 30 is like the the the, the base medium. And then you're gonna put this like zero on the end what well, depends on your clips how you want them to end and how long you want the blur to last for right so the way you're gonna do this graph is just a little bit in the in the end right there and then in the beginning it's gonna be a, you know what I mean just to like goes in nicely and then okay let me show you what's up just just that little extra something something that little extra spice of blur you know what i'm saying yeah so uh, yeah so that's like 
the intro for your edits or whatever basically i just showed you how to do a rotation and a scale edit right now um, i'm gonna teach you positioning like the position transition and all that and then we're done with the tutorial and then if you uh, just leave me in the comments what you want to see me do or what tutorials you want on just like tell me an effect that you want uh, to know how to do and you don't know how to do currently so i'm gonna teach you how to do it i mean if i know how to do it but <laughs> i don't know all the effects on after effects okay i just know my basic my basic shit so now rotation back to zero right we don't need that anymore rotation back to zero so um position effects i mean i don't know how to i don't know why you would use position on these scenes because it's basically this scenes and their face is really close like that right and uh, their face is like more far away right here these things are like the best to use um what's it called the scale transition right because you scale out of them but um, if you want to do position for whatever reason uh let me show you real quick position i don't like to do from the beginning of the thing because it looks pretty rough so position you just press p on your keyboard right to bring a position uh halfway let's say you go to end of the, your clip and you do like that right halfway the line to be like eh, mostly halfway just like that i don't know i just like to do it like that then you click this thing over here if you want to graph edit it right because this if you graph edit it with like um the f9 the classic f9 it's gonna just do that it's not gonna let you do anything with it so um to graph edit position you just need to press this thing right here separate dimensions very important right and you can do that by not entering the graph editor you can just right click this and separate the more dimensions right that couldn't fuck it all right now what you want to do is basically just like the other things just make it fade it in easily if you know what i mean okay now for this one especially i'm gonna bring this one over here because i like it to like you know what i mean just drop it in a little bit let me lower the volume on this thing because there we go all right and now you put position over here no not rotation i want position press p on your keyboard very important remember that shit. No, all right the first one it's gonna be from up right because you're gonna go down with it right just make it halfway again just like the other one and click separate dimensions do that right there and do that right there right pretty smooth if i do say so myself uh i wanted to edit this song before because this song is like really hard as you see right here let me play you a little bit whatever we're here for you guys right tutorials yay so yeah that's the positions uh, transition i guess that's kind of it for this tutorial this tutorial was just transitions and showing you the basis and all that right um put up in the comments whatever you want to know um the most liked or whatever comment uh, i'm gonna do next in my next tutorial if i'm gonna do a next tutorial i'm gonna see how this tutorial goes and and then I'm gonna I'm decide. But thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.